Hello and welcome to another video. So we have some more update news. So for February 26th, we're going to bring up here this one. We've got chapters 9 to 11 will be added for the main story for three different characters. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce names because I really can't be bothered at this point to try and do that. So Next, we've got a new button to confirm your end, yeah, your deck before ending a battle. That's not too bad. Uh, create all missing cards when crafting a deck using deck codes for Shadowverse Portal. Ah, eh, that's pretty okay as well. A new Contact Us feature. This will be great for those people who keep leaving, so we can actually start reporting people who are just, you know, disconnecting right in the middle of a game or something. And leaving you with that whole 80 second wait time. Another really fun thing. Elite 2 difficulty setting added to practice mode. Hopefully we'll get some quests to go along with that. And we'll be able to see some more fun. Uh, In-game notifications sent 5, 30 minutes, 60 minutes before undergoing maintenance. That's pretty standard. Message window in the upper right display your opponent's class when redrawing cards. Pretty good. Changes to device link. If you want to read that you can check out link. I don't think going over that's that important. And this is where we get to the interesting part of this article. So, we've got a couple of nerfs. Which I'm sure is what most of you guys came to this video for. We have changes to the ability mechanism and sorry, ability mechanism of some cards. The mechanisms of silver runecraft, piercing rune, and bronze neutral card. Goblin mage will be changed. So it's pretty straightforward. Goblin Mage, well, Piercing Rune is the easiest, I guess. Piercing Rune will be changed from, whoops. Piercing Rune will be changed from dropping to one cost to a two cost instead, meaning you won't be able to play it on a turn four combo as effectively, but it's not too big a change. I think this is just enough for what it needed. So it's not too much. Um, We'll probably slow them down a little bit. You won't get quite as good clear, which kind of makes my meta video a little, you know, less accurate. And then Goblin Mage, probably the bigger change because this is going to completely screw over our OTK Roach and discard Dragon style decks, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. So, we have. Goblin Mage, its effect will be changed, that instead of getting a 2 play point follower, you'll get a 2 play point or less, meaning you have a chance to also get a 1 play point follower. Which, when you're playing a fairy deck and running, you know, 13 one drop cards with half of them being followers, really drops the consistency of those Roach decks down quite a bit. But I'm sure it'll still see some play. And of course, um, Fortune Hunter Fina will also be done. There were nothing will change for Fina's mechanism itself, but because it's connected to Goblin Mage, you will get that extra vial yield. You'll gain 200 vials for both Fina and Piercing Rune, and 50 vials for Goblin Mage when the update starts, which, according to this, is February 26th. So that pretty much covers it. I would like to hear what you guys think. We'll go on, we'll just play a couple of games. Well, we'll play a game here and get, get this wound out. Whoop, wrong little... Lighter there, there we go. So, I'll give my brief overview of the nerfs. I think it's enough for now. I don't think it's going to be enough overall. I mean, Piercing Rune's change is great, but... Yeah, Dari is still going to be really strong. Piercing Rune is still going to be played in every single Rune deck, along with Levi, because it's just too good a combination. Even if you have to wait an extra turn just to play the... Um, the one drop, and it actually makes turn 5 a little bit better, so going first isn't as bad. Because you can still play both. So I don't think it's going to change too much there. The Goblin Mage is huge though. Having it change from just drawing a 2 drop, so you can guarantee a 2 drop draw, to a 2 or 1 drop. The only way to make it consistent would be to remove all 1 drops, and in a Fairy deck you can't do that. You can't remove all 1 drops, because you lose too much value. So we may see forests move over to a more control orientated. People may still play the same, you know, and they might just hope for the roaches. 
But I think overall, this is what we need. Something to shake up the meta. It's been almost two months since the expansion. We haven't seen too much change. So this is kind of good. It's definitely not a bad thing. But that pretty much wraps up the update news. If we get anything more, I will release another video. This video will go out... What is it? Today for me is Tuesday, so it'll go out tomorrow. This news only broke today. Or yesterday, I don't know. Time zone issues. I'd say it only broke today. Hopefully this keeps you guys informed. For any of you guys who haven't heard about this already. Um, what can I do here with this hand? I've got a really bad hand. Um, draw. Drop 13 of all. Alright. So, hopefully, we'll see something good. I'm really looking forward to the addition of new story content. So, those will go up on my channel. I will be doing chapters 9 through 11. I don't know whether I'll do them as a stream or whether I'll just run them as individual videos. Probably individuals, because I think, you know, you can break those up into three videos, which is quite nice. Um, the Elite Difficulty is also something that I'll probably take a look at, and that will be quite fun. I found the Elite classes to be alright. And that's game. So, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on these changes and what you guys, what you guys might change in the future. It'll be interesting to see how this changes the meta. I don't think Rune is going to move. I think Rune will stay where it is. Dragon will definitely become stronger because there wasn't a single thing touched in the Dragon deck so far that's actually quite strong. I've had a lot of good luck with the Dragon. And I guess it's going to be Rip Roach for now. There's not much we can really do about it. We can try and build more decks. Roach is still going to be a good card. It's just not going to be as consistent, which is kind of the whole point of the Roach deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and want to stay up to date, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, Check out the links in the description, there will be a link to this article, and I'll catch you guys next time.